Yesterday we started talking about Pythagorean theorem and there's just so much more that we haven't touched on. So we're going to spend another day on it. Um, I would like you to recall what the Pythagorean theorem states. Pythagorean theorem states that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. We're going to talk about what that means exactly. So I'm going to get two colors. Blue and orange. Or purple and orange, my bad. Okay, so I see a right triangle here. I see a right triangle. And here is the right angle. The sides that are adjacent, or the legs, are this side and this side. So I'm calling this the purple box. And the orange box. This side length and that side length are legs because they are adjacent to or touching the right angle. Um, we'll say that A is purple and we'll call B orange. When I look at the square for A, I see that it is one, two, three units long. So A is equal to three. A squared would be three squared, which is three times three, which is nine. And you can see that visually, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine little boxes here. You can visually see that a squared is equal to nine and that the side length of a is just three. Now looking at the square for b, its side length is one, two, three, four. Um, we can find b squared by doing 4 squared. 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. So b squared is 16. And again, you can visually see that. Here's b, a second b, a third b, fourth b, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 Bs there. Now let's look at C. C is whatever is across from the right angle because it can only see the right angle and not touch it. So this is C. And C is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units long. C squared then would be 5 squared, which is 5 times 5, which is 25. What Pythagorean theorem says is that my purple square plus A squared plus B squared, my orange square, is the same or equal to the hypotenuse squared or the pink square. And we're going to see that that's true just because I'm a tad obsessive here. Anything, all right. There are nine little a's in this box. So I'm going to do um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are 16 B's in this box. So let's see if this will fit. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, and 16. What Pythagorean theorem is saying is that the area of this purple box and the area of this orange box added together completely will fill the pink box up. Or that a squared 9 plus b squared 16 is equal to c squared 25. Nine squared, or sorry, nine plus sixteen is equal to twenty-five. This is a model of Pythagorean theorem. It just proves that Pythagorean theorem um, does check out. <clears throat> so let's put that into words. Since we're adding two things together, I'm going to call that a sum. This is the sum of this leg squared and this leg squared. So I'm going to say the squares of the legs. The sum of the squares of the legs. So we're taking the squares of the legs and adding them together to get the sum. And that is, means equals, whatever the square of this number is. That side length is the hypotenuse, and we're squaring it. So we're saying this is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. <clears throat> now in class, I had you guys try these three on your own, um, and I'll just run through those relatively quickly. We want to find the missing side lengths in each triangle. We see that these are all right triangles because they have right angles labeled on them. This circle goes over this line and this line, meaning that is A and B. So the hypotenuse is C across from the right angle. First, we need to write down Pythagorean theorem. That's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Then we're going to plug in what we know. So I'll put bubbles in place of all of the variables first. This parentheses is in place of A, and we know A is 2. These parentheses are in place of B, and B is 3. These parentheses are in place of C, and we don't know what C is, so that's going to stay a variable. On the left, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. And c squared, we're just going to drop down. Well, 4 plus 9 is 13. So 13 equals c squared. To undo the square, we need to take the square root of the other side, 13. And that gets rid of the square. So now we have, we're turning our calculator on, and we want the square root of 13. Three point, and we'll round to the nearest tenth, the first decimal place. So 3.6. And we're using the square root equal sign now because C isn't exactly 3.6, it's just really, really close. And that was our third step, is to solve. Now we've got um, a new triangle. Here is our right angle. There's one leg and the other leg that goes through the right angle there. So this is A and B, and here is C. Okay. So first we are writing down A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We're writing down Pythagorean theorem. Now we can plug in what we know. So I'll put a bubble in place of all of the variables. This one is in place of A, and A is 12. These parentheses are in place of B. We don't know what B is. These parentheses are in place of C, and C is 20. On the left side, 12 squared is 144. B squared is B squared. And 20 squared is 400. 
we eventually want to solve for b, so this term needs to be isolated, which means we're moving the 144 term to the right side by making a zero pair. So we subtract that from both sides. That makes a zero pair plus b squared equals 144, sorry, 400 minus 144, which is 256. And because we are great eighth grade students, we have our squares and square roots memorized for 1 through 20. To undo the square here, we need to take the square root of the other side. So we're taking the square root of 256 to find b. The square root of 256, you know off the top of your head, is 16. So b is 16. Okay. The next triangle, we want to find the missing side length. Here is my right angle, which means this and this is A and B. And C is directly across. The hypotenuse can see the right angle but not touch it. First, we write down Pythagorean theorem, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Next, we're going to plug in what we know. This, uh, these parentheses are in place of A, and A is 15. These parentheses are in place of B, and B is also 15. These parentheses are in place of C, and we don't know what C is, so that's going to stay a letter. So now I've got 15 squared plus 15 squared equals C squared. 15 squared is 225 plus 15 squared is 225 equals c squared. 225 plus 225 is 450 equals c squared. To undo the square, you square root the other side. The other side is 450. That undoes the square, so instead of c squared, we have c. Now I need the square root of 450. The square root of 450 is 21.213203344 and we'll just round to the tenths place to make it easy so 21.2 21.2 is roughly equal to c and this is kind of in class where we broke up into two different parts now um, so I'm going to end the video here for just the front of page 107. As always, if you have questions, comments, or concerns about this video or any of the content in it, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. You can message me on Schoology, send me an email, or drop a comment here, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.